still and I wasn't sure which classes to sign up for. And as a junior, there are specific credits that I needed to get. I didn't start school until the second day and I was rushing to pick my classes. Psychology definitely wasn't my first option, but there were limited spaces in the classes I wanted. Once I started Intro to Psych, I knew it was the class for me. I love learning about disorders, how our brains work, memory, and many other topics. Now, I'm planning a major in psychology. After choosing my major, I realized that I could minor in criminal law, and they go hand in hand. Overall, Intro to Psych is a great class to take. And I'm currently an African history student. And I took this class because, personally, I'm a history buff. But not only, I would recommend this class because not only would you gain knowledge and information about African history that you didn't know, but while in the process, you will have fun by completing interactive activities and playing subject-related games. Hi, I'm Rebecca Thomas, and I'm in 10th grade, and this is my first year taking AP classes. Now, in the beginning, it was, it was a little bit challenging, but once I got a handle of it, and I finally figured out that I could actually talk to my teacher like a, per, a normal person, actually asking for help and stay after school and do what I need to do to get the grades that I wanted, it became much easier, and I got like I got A's in like almost everything that I did. All you gotta do is just just keep going and asking for help. Always study for every test you get, and you cannot slack in any. Hi, and right now I'm taking four AP classes. I'm taking AP Human, uh, AP Biology, AP Psych, and AP Lit. Right now, AP Human is a class about various cultures, and we learn a bunch of different things about the world, like different religions and how other people in the world interact with each other and globalization. And one thing about taking AP classes is that it prepares you for college and you learn how to take notes on your own and how to study and you really need those skills in college to succeed. Or you will definitely just ask your teachers for help and just stay after whenever you need to. Don't be afraid to ask questions and taking AP classes will really get you prepared for college. AP Psychology is eye-opening and it teaches you so many things that you would never think about. You learn how we learn, you learn how we study, and you even learn why we do the things we do. Ms. Tomasello's class is challenging but completely manageable. I highly recommend this class if you're looking for a teacher that loves what she does and one that knows so much about the fascinating subject. The thing I like about ninth grade and 10th grade English is that you don't know it, and but they challenge you rigorously because they want to prepare you for AP, your AP courses, because then they want you to be ready for college. That's what the AP course is prepared for, is for college. I have to, as I said before, I took AP Lang and I also took AP Lit. I like AP Lang because it challenged me and encouraged me to try and the learn about the truth and not just believe whatever I heard. I had to research and try to develop my own ideas about the truth. And it made me more intelligent in a way. And then I like AP Lit because we learn how to analyze text so that we can understand it from the author's viewpoint and also to develop more ideas about the text than just reading, just to read. And you should take GRTC because it not only develops friends for you for the future, you also develop leadership skills that will help you throughout life. And the instructors are really cool. We have three instructors. Our senior Army instructor is Lieutenant Colonel Riley. And I love JRTC because it not only developed me as a person, it gave me confidence and leadership skills. Last year I took AP Statistics and I now take AP Calculus. I highly recommend these classes to anyone who has plans to go to college. Ms. Utterback, AP Calc teacher, and Ms. O'Leary, AP Stats teacher, make it fun and interesting. Thomas Stone offers a rigorous pathway to prepare students for college. Students are able to take honors classes as well as AP. I have enjoyed my time at Thomas Stone being in the science classes. I myself have taken honors for 
all of them, and I've taken AP Biology to pursue my career in the medical field that I will be doing in college. And we're all juniors in Thomas Stone's Biomedicine program. Um, when, since I was eight years old, I wanted to be a marine biologist, but since I've taken this class, um, I started my research in medicine, and I'm now doing a medical, re a medical internship over the summer. Um, at the start of the year, when we did our first unit, we had to uh, analyze a crime scene. And that's what I want to do when I grow up. I want to work with CSI and stuff like that. And it was, it was really, really cool to see exactly what you do in the real world. When um, I've always wanted to go into medicine when I grow up, so this is a great platform to not only get into the medicine field, but also into a lot of insight into biology and science. In this completer course, there's four classes. The first one's just an elective. The second one's weighted for honors, and the last two are considered AP classes. Um, if you decide, if you take the first one and you decide you don't like it, you can keep it as a um, background. You don't have to go through the whole entire thing. And after you complete this course, you'll have a stamp on your report card, and that will look really good for college. We offer a sequence of foundation and advanced courses to support continuing education in business, science, administration, management, finance. Personally, I take financial literacy, which fulfilled a graduation requirement and prepared me for an intimidating workforce in the future. I, now I feel like I don't have to run to my mother when I get out of college to help me prepare for my future. And it's something that I can do personally and I understand more about. And I took AP Computer Science because it's a certainly an interesting class. You get to create the programs that you use every day and learn how to make things from converters for inches and centimeters to full video games. I like this course because it takes a different approach. You get to use a logical process in making mistakes and fixing errors in order to make whatever program you want. I went to major in computer science in college, and I believe that this course gave me a foundation that will help me succeed in college. Taking art classes throughout high school has helped me feel a sense of freedom throughout the school day. Hands on learning can help your brain guys with ribs at. Taking art classes through high school has helped me stop procrastinating by providing me with due dates, which helped me budget my time better, which allowed me more time in class. Since it has helped me discover myself by being able to be expressive. If you're taking Spanish in eighth grade and continue throughout high school, you will be eligible to take AP Spanish your 12th grade year. The class is very fun and we're like a little family. It will greatly prepare you for taking a language in college and it will help make the courses easier. Take Spanish. As an AP Latin and German course student, I'll be the first to tell you to take both. Thomas Stone is the only Charles County school that has German. As a current AP student, trust me when I say that Latin will help you expand your vocabulary immensely. I highly recommend that you take a unique, a unique language like Latin or German. You'll be surprised what you're already now. I'll feel the same. Uh, French is one of the best classes I've taken all throughout high school. Uh, it, you learn a lot about their culture and a lot about their language, and it helps to ameliorate your English vocabulary too. Um, I plan to make minor in it in college because I had such an incredible time in Ms. Hoffman's French 1 through French 4 class. Hey, my name is Marquise. Um, I lift weights because I like the results, and it's fun. Hi, Priscilla. I take weight training because Mr. Frill is a really nice guy, and he makes me work extra hard, and it's a lot of fun. Hi, I'm Ryan. I take weight training because it helps me to stay in shape for football and uh, wrestling. and keeps me strong throughout the season. 
throughout my 11th and 12th grade years, it has definitely helped me by getting me ready for career experiences currently now and in the future. I have been seeking employment and I actually got employment the summer between my 11th and 12th grade year. It's helped me not only manage my time in school, but my time at work, be able to have a half day in school and also be able to prepare me within college and future experiences. I took clothes room design to get the experience of making clothes. Like you can make your own clothes. It teaches you how to, it teaches you how to sew, cut fabric, and like you can make your handbags and everything without the cost without the cost of going and buying clothes from the store. It's a lot cheaper. Taking this class, you will learn things from all over the world, like from Italy, France, to Mexico, even American food. Some things you don't know. So that's why I took that class. Hi, my name is Kiana Williams. I am a senior in the TAM program. The TAM program starts your sophomore year with human growth and development, your junior year with teaching as profession, and ends your senior year with foundations of curriculum and instruction, and your internship. Currently, I have an internship with Malcolm Elementary. The internship shows me how to handle situations in the classroom and outside, and it also teaches me professionalism and skills that I will learn. Even if you don't want to become a teacher, it's still a, good, a great program to be part of. For instance, if you just want to, for instance, if you just want to become a daycare provider or just want to work with children. I'm here to talk a little bit about what the courses are and why you should take the Project Lead the Way Completer program. So as a freshman, you'll most likely take the intro, the intro to Engineering class. As a sophomore, you'll probably take the Principles of Engineering. As a junior, you'll take the Digital Electronics. As a senior, you'll take the two AP final courses. One of them is Civil Engineering and Architecture, where you'll build a model house like this on your computer, and then you'll get to actually build it. class is the Engineering Design and Development, which is where you get in a group of other students and you create your own prototype that you have to model and present to a group of engineers at the end of the year. And it's really exciting because we're creating our own product. You should join theater and band because one, they both will boost your confidence and it also helps with public speaking, especially theater. You get on stage in front of all these people and then once you go on stage and, or in front of a classroom even and talk to your peers by yourself, it's way easier. Theater has a whole bunch of opportunities other than acting, including tech, which is props, lighting, sounds, costumes, and if you have any of those things that interest you, then come talk to Ms. Daring. And if you have any talent playing instruments, if you play any instrument at all, go talk to Mr. Dennison in the band room. Well, AVID, you know, is just really helpful with the things I do. And it's like a whole bunch of uh, guest speakers come in and they tell us all about college and things that you can do and like how much hard college is, but how much fun it is also. And I really want to have that experience, you know, get a head start on where I want to go before I actually think about it.